CME Info's continuing education and board certification programs bring the conference to you. The following is a video sample from the Society for Pediatric Radiology's Alera CT, as low as reasonably achievable. This excerpt is taken from course director Dr. Beverly Newman's lecture titled Ultrasound First Applications. Uh, moving on, uh, ultrasound for pleural effusion in pyema, pretty well recognized reason for getting ultrasound in most uh, pediatric hospitals, but not necessarily everywhere. <coughs> ultrasound can establish the nature and location of the fluid, uh, mark the location for drainage well. Septations and loculations are much more readily appreciated by ultrasound than CT. Ultrasound generally can, for the most part, separate simple from complex effusions versus pleural thickening or fibrosis or pleural and pulmonary masses. You can identify consolidated lung as well as some of the other complications of pulmonary infection and ultrasound. So ultrasound really uh, should be your first study and should triage the need for a CT scan. Some examples, a 12-year-old with pneumococcal pneumonia, I'm showing you both the uh, plain film CT and ultrasound to illustrate that, in fact, you can much better see the septations and these and this uh, organization of the pleural effusion on the ultrasound much better than you can on a CT scan. Yes, it's true that on the CT you can see the necrotizing and pneumonia to better effect than you can on the ultrasound, but what's really going to affect the management is uh, the nature of the pleural effusion and uh, how you're planning on uh, dealing with it and, and draining it. Uh, here is a 12-month-old with hypotonia and immunodeficiency uh, who was thought to have an, abs uh, an aspiration pneumonia. And on the chest X-ray, you see bilateral lower lobe opacity. There was some question of were there pleural effusions. And the ultrasound shows there's no, there's no, not any pleural effusions, but there is this area of consolidated lung with air bronchograms in the right lower lobe um, that you can see outlined here by calipers. This is uh, ultrasound evaluation of the thymus or mediastinal mass is uh, still something that, um, that I'm seeing from our emergency room where people rush to CT scans when they're suspecting the possibility of a mediastinal mass uh, where people don't think of ultrasound necessarily as a, as a good uh, uh, imaging alternative, whereas it actually is an excellent method of identifying and differentiating normal thymic tissue or a thymic cyst from other mediastinal or neck masses. And really, uh, we want to avoid CT, if possible, to evaluate normal variants. This is what you don't want to see. This was a child with a, a six-month-old with cough, and here you see this fullness in the right upper quadrant, and uh, in the right upper chest, and uh, so this child then went on to have a CT, big panic, maybe there's a mass, and as you might have expected, here is normal thymus. Well, you've answered the question, but at, at some cost to the child. Uh, here then is a, a three-week-old actually in the NICU, and uh, the neonatologists are very concerned about this opacity in the right side. On the left side, we clearly see that there's a thymic wave, so we know there is a prominent thymus. And so the question is, uh, with ongoing concern, because there's a difference of, of opinion among some radiologists, I then suggested, well, let's just do an ultrasound that will give us the answer. And in fact, the ultrasound shows that the thymus is very prominent, more so on the right than the left, and there's nothing else there we see on transverse and sagittal view that all we're looking at is, is normal thymic tissue, which has this very characteristic appearance on ultrasound. Here, yeah. by contrast, is a 12-year-old girl who has this irregular lobular mediastinal contour. No one's going to mistake this for normal thymus on the plain film, uh, but an ultrasound will quickly tell you something of what you might be dealing with, showing both a cystic and a solid mass, and CT was done and, and certainly probably would be indicated to, uh, more, to evaluate the mass in more detail, showing uh, some fat and cystic changes and a benign teratoma that's originating in the thymus. And here is an additional child with acute stridor neck swelling, both CT and ultrasound, showing the mass in the neck, 
with some mass effect in the airway, extending uh, down into the thymus. And you see better on the ultrasound than the CT the reason for the acute swelling, and that is hemorrhage within the thymic cystern. You see the blood fluid level on ultrasound that you really can appreciate on CT. Top quality board certification reviews and continuing education programs, guaranteed. For more information about this self-study activity, go to www.cmeinfo.com slash 771V or call us at 1-800-284-8433.